Hey guys, this is a little project I've had going on the last couple of days. Uh, when I was researching it, I couldn't find a definitive answer on motor sizes, speeds and all that. So this is what I got. I hope it helps. Um, so this is a, a what is it? Three roll of barley crusher just off eBay. Um, so rather than just getting a dirty drill on it and screwing the shaft up, I wanted to get a DC motor. So this is a 170 watt, 12 volt uh, DC motor off a self-propelled electric caddy uh, for golf. So what I've done is uh, went out and got a L-type coupling. So it's just 12 mil in, 12 mil out. Uh, yeah, so I've had this um, on the taco, and that there is 150 uh, revs per minute. So they recommend well, was it 200, but uh, this motor here flat out, it's 150, so it's perfect. Um, I've kept the battery because I couldn't find a power supply with enough go in it to power the motor. So this year, like running, reset this one. What's that? 1.5 amps. So this motor is good for 14. So yeah. So we'll see what it does with a bit of grain. So yeah, it loves it. So you got heaps of room to move. I've seen some posts on the internet saying that like you wouldn't go any smaller than 200 watts. So I reckon you go down as low as 150, no worries. But uh, yeah, I've heard other stories of starting it without any grain uh, with grain in the hopper and it stalls so yeah so this is in rush so the highest current you'll see is like 21 amps which this is good for 14 and all motors do have a, they do spike on startup, so you're, you're allowed three times what it's rated at. So, what's that? 30, yeah, so you let, you could probably see 50 odd amps and it not worry it, but if it was a AC single phase motor, I'd be worried just because you don't want to cook your start winding. But that's why I've gone with the DC with a reduction gearbox so I don't have belts that slip things like that so yeah I reckon I'll do the trick oh I hope it helps